the Lord's Prayer. Ni wangapi munajua ombi la Bwana? Do you the know Lord's it prayer. in English? You children know Una it in English. Unajua katika Kiingereza, ama Kiswahili, ama lugha ya mama. Say it with me. Our, our Father, Baba yetu, who art in heaven, uishie mbinguni, hallowed be thy name. Jina lako litukuzwe. Let me hear you. Thy kingdom come. Ufalme wako ukuje. Your will be done. Mapenzi yako yatendeke. On earth hapa duniani as it is in heaven kama vile navyofanyika juu mbinguni okay i'm going to stop there nasimamia hapo that's the lord's prayer hiyo ni ombi la mwana i was praying the simple words god Alipo gave me alipokuwa naomba maneno ma, ma, rais mungu alimpatia when i when i was thinking of that prayer wakati alipokuwa naomba hilo ombi when god said your king, alisema, your kingdom come your will be done on Ufalme wake ukuje mapenzi yako yatendeke duniani as it is in heaven kama vile inavyofanyika mbinguni what i heard aliposikia your kingdom come ufalme wako ukuje your will be done mapenzi yako yatendeke in kenya as it is in heaven kama vile ilivyo inavyoendelea mbinguni kept hearing that in kenya as it is in heaven aliendelea kusikia katika kenya kama vile ilivyo juu mbinguni do you believe kenya can be like heaven unafikiri kwamba unaamini kwamba kenya inaweza kuwa if it's the word of god is true kama neno la bwana ni la kweli the world has kenya in it right dunia ina kenya ndani yake kenya is in the earth right kenya iko hapa duniani so on earth kwa hivyo duniani is the same thing as in Kenya ni sawa na Kenya as it is in heaven kama vile ilivyo mbinguni now is there any struggles in heaven sasa hapo mbinguni kuna kungangana kweli no Hakuna. is there any sickness in heaven kuna ugonjwa mbinguni is there any strife in heaven kuna kukozana mbinguni is there any political unrest in heaven kuna siasa ambayo ime on in Kenya kana as it is in heaven hapana I Kenya think kama vile ilivyo juu God is raising up a people in Kenya. Mungu anainua watu hapa Kenya. That will stand and declare in the face of the enemy. Ambao simama na kutangaza mbele ama uso kwa uso wa adui. You said it God. Ulisema Bwana. In Kenya as it is in heaven. Hapa Kenya kama vile ilivyo kuwa ilivyo juu mbinguni. And so I want to bring you that word today that Kwa hivyo nataka kuwaletea hilo neno. You could be the person kwamba ni inaweza kuwa ni wewe changes the whole nation ambao utabadilisha taifa hili you know the word says neno linasema that a nation will be saved in a day kwamba taifa linaweza kuokolewa katika siku moja i was thinking how in this world could that be possible nilikuwa najiuliza itakuwaje kweli katika ule mwingu and then i just saw a picture of me ministering to people like you children like you adults anaona picha ambao watu wanahudumia watoto watu wazima and they grow up na wanakuwa watu wazima or they go to their path and their destiny ama wanaenda katika shughuli zao mbalimbali kulingana na hati mazao very valuable in government na wanakuwa watu wakubwa iwe ni serikalini ama mashirika mbalimbali and they turn in with their influence alafu wanarudi kuwa na huo bring the whole nation yale yote ambao walikuwa wamepitia mazuri ama mabaya ya wanayaleta katika nchi yao the thing is you have to get it in your heart kitu ni kwamba uweke ndani ya roho yako for it ever to come about for it ever to happen kwa hizo vitu zifanyike you can't just say oh yeah that was a nice message but she's from america uweze kusema oh basi huo ujumbe ulikuwa mzuri lakini yeye ni kutoka america hey we have our own problems in america right now nasema hata wao wana shida zao kule america shida zao za kipekee right now we're wondering who's in control sasa hivi wanajiuliza ni nani anayetawala and i'll tell you who's in control is god na ninakuambia ni nani ambaye anatawala and so i thank god ni mungu na kwa hivyo ninashukuru mungu say that say in kenya sema katika Kenya as it is in heaven kama vile ilivyo juu mbinguni can you imagine it unaweza kufikiria hivyo unaweza kuangalia eh, hiyo inawezekana unaweza kuiona you know we we need to just start acting like we know it's true sasa inatubidi tuanze kufanya kile ambacho tumesema kiwe cha kweli the word is either true or it's a lie neno la bwana haina hakuna mambo mawili either unaliamini likiwa la kweli ama ni uongo na si uongo god is not a liar lakini mungu si muongo i want to read you a scripture nataka kuwasomea um, uh, neno la bwana 
because this is what God wants us to do. Maana hii ndio Bwana anataka tufanye. I'm just going to read it uh, because it's in a message translation and so it might be very different. Anaenda kulisoma iko katika message translation. Ephesians. Anasema ni katika Waefeso. It says now Ephesians 2:7 through 10. Waefeso 2:7 to 10. Now God has us. Uh, just a minute. You say Ephesians I want to get the Swahili version if I can. Yeah, Swahili instead message. of instead of translating. Yeah. Acha nione hiyo Biblia takatifu. We've said Ephesians Ephesians 7 Ephesians 2:7-10. Yeye ni wa Efeso 2. Wow. Agano Jipia. Wa Efeso Ephesians 2. Mhm. 7-10. Hallelujah. Go on. Now God has us where he wants us. Mungu ame ako nasi mahali anatutaka. And all the time in this world and the next. Na wakati huu na ulimwengu ujao to shower grace and kindness upon us. Akapate kutunyunyizia uh, neema na upendo juu yetu. Saving the world is his idea. Kukomboa inchi ni mpango wake. And it's all his work. Na kweli hiyo inafanya kazi. It's God's gift. Ni kipawa cha Mungu. From the start to the finish. Kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho. We don't even play a major role. Atushughuliki hakuna atu, jambo tunafanya hapo kikubwa sisi. If we did we probably go around bragging about ourselves. Uh, sorry then. If we did we would probably go around boasting. Okay, kama tungefanya tungepita kujinua kusema sisi ndio tumefanya. God does both the making and the saving. Mungu ndiye anafanya na kuokoa. He creates each of us by Christ to join Anatumba him. Anatuumba kila mmoja wetu kupitia Yesu Kristo to join him in co-laboring in the work. Ili tukapata kuwa kitu kimoja tufanye kazi ya ufalme. He has gotten it ready for us to do. Amefanya ana, ana mambo yote tayari yale ambayo anataka tufanye. And we had better be doing it. Na kweli inatubidi tuyafanye hayo ambayo Bwana ametutayarisha so tufanye. That scripture neno hilo tells us linatuambia our job kazi yetu we're supposed to hear what god is doing inabidi tusikie kile bwana anafanya and then say father how can i help alafu tuseme baba nitafanyaje nitasaidia wapi he's going to do the work yeye mungu ndiye ataenda kufanya kazi it's going to be a fun adventure itakuwa kitu cha kufurahisha sana the other day Siku iliyopita I was so distraught wakati ambapo alikuwa amesikia vibaya kabisa in the airport not knowing where I was going hapo London wakati ambapo hakujua anaenda wapi visa imekataliwa that night usiku huo I was lying in a king size bed alikuwa na lala katika kitanda kikubwa kile in, kinaitwa king size sita kwa sita in a beautiful hotel katika hoteli mzuri maridadi uingereza london, london england kule london uingereza they had been given to me ambaye ilipewa kwake alipewa bure so from struggle to victory kwa hivyo kutoka kungangana alijipata na ushindi mkubwa it's just an adventure yani ni kama mchezo so don't curse usilaani or feel bad when you have challenges ama kusikia vibaya wakati uko na shida but just realize you're on an adventure with god sasa wewe kumbuka kwamba uko njiani mnafanya kazi na mungu na ni mchezo wa kufurahisha how many of you know what your identity is ni wangapi wenu mnajua nyinyi ni nani your identity is who you are Yaani wewe ni yule unataka kujijua wewe ni nani in kenya it would be what tribe you're from katika Kenya mtu anaweza kusema ah, okay mimi natoka kwa kabila gani but the word says lakini neno linasema that hivi. we are not from this world atuko kutoka ulimwengu huu we are actually citizens of another world sisi inasemekana ni wananchi kutoka ulimwengu mwingine we are citizens of heaven sisi ni wananchi wa mbinguni and do you know citizens of heaven na unajua wananchi wa mbinguni have their own language wana lugha yao ya kipekee you know that we as christians mnajua kwamba sisi wa kristo usually speak swahili tunaongea kiswahili kisi kikisi english english k- k- spanish spanish but not heaven lakini sio lugha ya mbinguni you know Maranyo. what heaven's language is unajua lugha ya mbinguni ni gani 
Heaven's language should be coming Luka out your mouth every day. Lazima itoke mdomoni mwako kila siku. Heaven's language will never complain. Lugha ya mbinguni haitaki ulalamike. Heaven's language knows their children of God. Lugha ya mbinguni inajua wewe ni mtoto wa mbinguni wa Mungu. Heaven's language knows that they are kings and priest. Lugha ya mbinguni inajua kwamba wewe ni ni, ni kuhani na mfalme. But with us, lakini sisi, we say oh I don't feel good. Oh, nasema sijisikii vizuri. My 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 father told me that I wasn't any good. Baba yangu aliniambia kwamba mimi si mzuri. My, my mother told me I wasn't any good. Mama yangu aliniambia mimi si mzuri. My teacher told me I was not smart. Mwalimu wangu aliniambia mimi si mwerevu. And when you listen to those things, na unaposikiliza hayo mambo, that becomes your identity. Hiyo sasa unaifanya ndio inakutambulisha. Even you that are married, not wale ambao hamjaolewa your husband says things that are slanderous yani yule wale ambao mmeolewa mume wako pengine anasema kitu kibaya juu yako your wife says bad things ama mke wako anasema vitu vibaya juu yako your employer says you're no good you can't work ama yule ambao amekuajiri kazi anasema wewe si makes you feel less than na unaanza kujisikia vibaya and so when you're talking to your friend unapoanza kuzungumza na marafiki zako you talk to your friend and you say hey my boss just drank, did me, just ring me Unamwambia rafiki yako lakini mkubwa wangu amenizungumzia vibaya sana. He told me I'm no good. Aliniambia mimi ni bure. Are you talking to your friend at school? Unamwambia rafiki yako shuleni kama wewe ni mwanafunzi. My dad left. Oh baba yangu aliondoka. I don't have a dad anymore. Mimi sina baba tena. I feel like an orphan. Ninajisikia kama yatima. Side note. Ah, ukweli. Add to this. I was a, I was an orphan. Wacha niwaambie yeye alikuwa hakupata baba yake I had all that baggage. Alikuwa na mizigo hiyo mizito. stuff to get over. Hizo vitu mbaya 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 alistahili kuziongozea. Haikumchukua muda mrefu. Because the Holy Spirit was with me every step of the way. Maana roho ya Bwana alikuwa na yeye kila hatua aliyokuwa anafanya. So you may think because you're in Kenya basi ujue kwamba kwa sababu you have stronger Kenya, problems in me usifikiri kwamba kwa sababu wewe uko Kenya una shida kali I have that you don't have ama kushinda pro, shida ambazo niko nazo ambazo wewe unafikiri au but we're even uko nazo unafikiri mimi sina God's bigger than both anasema sisi wote ni sawa na Mungu ndio mkubwa so kushinda your identity wote. today nataka uelewe kwamba wewe ni nani leo your identity and how to fix it ukweli wako na jinsi vile unaweza kujisaidia is to start looking at things like god looks at them uanze kuangalia vitu kama vile mungu anavyoangalia vitu in ephesians it says katika waefeso inasema that god raised us up to sit down next to jesus kwamba yesu mungu alituinua ili tukae karibu na yesu we are to be yesu. seated in heaven tunatakikana na tuko so kweli tunakaa mbinguni seated in heaven we look down tukikaa mbinguni tunaangalia chini in the airplane katika ndege I look down mtu unaangalia chini a huge building na unaona majengo makubwa looks like it's about an inch tall na zinaonekana kitu kidogo but as i get closer to the ground lakini unapokaribia chini gets bigger kwa manyumba unaona kweli nyumba hiyo ilikuwa kubwa it's way bigger than i am kubwa kushinda vile nilikuwa naona little building way up high lakini jengo kubwa juu it's huge Jengo kubwa ukiwa juu kidogo ukishuka ni kidogo. Hivyo ndivyo shida zetu. If you're looking at them straight on, unapoangalia shida zako na macho hivi. They huge. Zinaonekana kubwa. But if you get up and go up and sit with Father God, lakini ukienda juu ukae na Baba Mungu. And you look down from Jesus's perspective, uangalie chini kama vile Yesu anavyoangalia. Uangalie kutoka juu kule baba naona hiyo shida yako itaonekana ndogo. Looks like that. Shida itakuwa kadogo sana. It doesn't look big anymore. Haionekani kubwa tena. Now, I'm telling you this because nakuambia hivi kwa sababu. The reason you don't do the things God wants you to do. Sababu ambayo inatufanya tufanye so mambo ambayo anataka tufanye ni kwa sababu that you don't know what God wants you to do. Ujui kile Mungu anataka ufanye. And then you pray and pray. 
Na hata una, say, God, what do you want me to do? Unaendelea kuomba na kuomba unasema I do for you. Unataka nifanye nini? He's telling you all the time. Unataka nikufanye nini? Be who you are. Na Mungu anakuambia wewe kuwa yule ambaye alikuwa. Be the child of God. Kuwa mtoto wa Mungu, mwana wa Mungu. Be the son of God. Kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Be the daughter of God. Kuwa msichana. I've made that to be and operate out of that. Jinsi vile nilikuumba. Look at things on earth. Angalia vitu vya like setting in heaven. Kana kwamba umeketi and they won't look as big. You won't even kubwa. have to deal with them. You I'll do it for you. Nitakufanyia mimi. So there'll be no worry. Hakutakuwa na no fear. Hakutakuwa na woga na we realize who we are. Hautakuwa na wasiwasi. We are mighty. Ukikumbuka wewe ni nani? I don't care how old you are. You are mighty. wewe ni mtu mkubwa. You can do exploits for God. Unaweza kufanya vitu vingi na vikubwa kwa Mungu. Another scripture in uh in Revelation that says Jesus said kuna, the father said kuna come up here kuna neno lingine linasema you know, katika ufunuo njoo hapa the word says when we abide in him sorry when we abide in him tunapoishi ndani yake and he abides in us na yeye anaishi ndani yetu we are in communion with him tuko pamoja na yeye And so I want to tell you today. Nataka kuambia hivi. You are in communion with him. Muko pamoja. Look at God's ways of doing things. Look at God's perspective. Angalia kutoka kutokana vile Mungu anaangalia vitu. And then start declaring it. Naanza kutangaza jinsi vile Bwana anasema. You need a job. Kama unataka kazi. You need money. Unataka pesa. If you find the you find the promise. Na unaangalia tafuta agano hilo My God supplies all my needs according to his riches. Acha nipatie vyote vile ambavyo ninahitaji mahitaji yangu. Thank you Father. Na unamwambia asante Bwana. All my needs are supplied. Unamwambia asante Bwana kwa. I don't have to worry. Haja zangu zote nikutana nazo. Si lazima nianze kuangaika. Sitafikiria haya mambo. I don't have to try to figure it out myself. Sitaanza kujiuliza nitafanyaje. Na kuwatazamia wewe. Bwana nitafanya kile unataka Ili nikapata kujua wewe ni nani parents, ndani yako. Do you enjoy your children coming up to you? Nyinyi kama wazazi mnafurahia watoto wakikuja kwenu. And say mama, dad. Na wanasema ma, baba, a, mama. I'm such a loser. Mimi nimepoteza. Nime, nime I don't feel I don't ever feel good. Sijihisi vizuri, sioni mimi faida yangu. I'm weak, I'm no good. Mimi sina nguvu, mimi si mzuri. No son, no daughter. Utamwambia pana jana yangu, pana msichana wangu. You are strong. Wewe ni mtoto wangu, wewe una nguvu. Because you're my child. Wewe ni mzuri kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto wangu. That's what father is saying about each one of us. Ndivyo hivyo Mungu anatuambia. When you think you're nothing. Wakati unapofikiri no. wewe si kitu. You're important. Mungu anasema wewe ni maana. You know when you go, you're, go, you're starting your life, most a lot of you are in the middle of your life. Wengine wenu mko katikati ya maisha yenu. What is life you're in in my stage of life? Haijalishi uko wapi? Getting older? Hata ukiwa mzee? You have the same problems. Ukiwa mzee bado shida hizo ziko. Then you start thinking you're too old to do anything. Sasa unaanza kufikiria mimi ni mzee sana siwezi so, kufanya kitu. The devil has no uh, playing field that's not level. Uh, the enemy speaks the same language yani to all of us. Yaani shetani anashughulikia sisi wote sawa. It's all that we can't be used. Nivyo lakini hatutatumia hizo. It's all that we're not important. Ana It's all he says we're not important. Anasema sisi si watu wa muhimu. But God says we are. Lakini Mungu anasema sisi ni watu wa muhimu. And so your identity kwa hivyo needs to be. Wewe jua who you are. Ujue wewe ni nani. Not what you're going through. Sio kile unapitia. Realize that. Wewe jua wewe ni nani katika Mungu mwana wa Mungu. Sio kile unapitia. Haleluya. So when we start to think like God. So tuwa, kwa hivyo tuanze kufikiri kama Mungu. There's three things. Kuna vitu vitatu. When we start seeing like God, tunapoanza kuona kama Mungu, we'll start declaring it. Tutaanza kutangaza yale tunaona. And then we'll see it. Na kweli tutaziona. We'll start talking negative. Tutaacha kuzungumza kinyume cha mambo. Uh, count how many times you say I in a day. Hesabu ni mara ngapi unasema mimi kwa siku? Cuz usually after you say I, you're because usually you're saying i'm tired maana mara nyingi wakati unaposema mimi unataka kuenda kumaliza mimi nimechoka i'm broke mimi sina pesa i'm i'm weak mimi sina nguvu 
So whenever you say those things, unapozungumza hizo vitu, you're making agreement with them. Unakubaliana nazo. And when you make agreement with them, it's na a, you nazo. start declaring it. Na kuanza kuzitangaza. And it will manifest. Na zitaonekana. The word is in your mouth. Maana ilo neno lililo ndani yako. The word they can save you. Neno lile litakalo kuokoa. The word that can make you defeated. Ama neno lile ambalo litakufanya ushindi. So you start saying when I when I want to say ah oh, I don't feel good. I say bless God I'm healed. Wakati unabadala ya kusema sisiki vizuri unastahili kusema oh bwana tukuzwe maana nimepona. When I say I'm when I want to say I'm tired I say I'm so rested. Thank Wakati you God. Wakati ambapo nataka kusema nimechoka nasema oh bwana nime niko ndani yako na nina pumziko kabisa. When I when I want to say I'm broke, wakati ambapo ningesema sina pesa, I say I have all the supply I need. Hapo ndio wakati nasema mimi nimebarikiwa na nina vyote vile nahitaji. Then with my identity. Yaani ninajaribu kungangana na kujua mimi ni nani. And when I agree with my identity, nakubaliana na mimi ni nani. Then God can bring the manifestation. Na Mungu yule ambaye nakubaliana naye atasababisha hizo vitu kufanyika. Watch what your mouth agrees with. Angalia mdomo wako unasema nini. I, I one more one more thing I want to cover Kitu because I had so much nilikuwa na vitu vingi and you know what na unajua nini God gave it to me between 2 and 4 this morning Mungu alimpatia ile neno hapo katikati ya saa 8 na 2 and what 2 and 4 Because God wouldn't let me study. Maana Mungu hakumruhusu ajifundi ajifunze afundishe. He kept saying if you're bringing the presence. Aliendelea kumwambia kama utaleta uwepo. I'm already here. Mimi niko hapa, unajifunza nini tena? Yeah, but I don't know what to say. Alafu anamwambia Mungu lakini sasa nitasema nini? He said you open your mouth. Mungu alimwambia nenda tu fungue mdomo wako. That's what I've done today. Hiyo ndiyo nimefanya leo. I would love to look, look at this after the fact and see what I said. Nitaangalia kwa mtandao e, yale tumeweka e, nione nilisema nini. But that's what God wants. Kile ambacho Mungu anataka. He wants to speak to you. Anataka kukuzungumzia. He doesn't want me to speak to you. Hataki yeye mtumishi akuzungumzie. So he's speaking to you. Kwa hivyo njua kwamba ni Mungu anayekuzungumzia. Yes, I'm I'm going to like Hop over here now because this Anaenda is hapa na pale kulingana na vile mwongozo wa Bwana na upata. Because I want to do something at the end that will Maana anataka kufanya kitu mwishoni. Ambacho kitakuwa kizuri kwa kila mmoja wetu. So don't leave. Usiondoke. God's gonna move. God's already moved. Mungu anaenda kutenda he, jambo. He moved in na worship. tayari ashafanya. Anaendelea kufanya. I want to talk to you a moment about the prophetic. Anataka kutuongelesha juu ya unabii. Na to kids that's a big word. Kwa watoto hiyo inaweza kusikika neno kubwa unabii. The church I go to, kanisa ambaye anaenda, they have their children wana watoto write prophetic words waandike neno la unabii. And I'm going to tell you what that is. Na nitakwambia hiyo ina maana. They write prophetic words on a paper. Wanaandika neno la unabii katika karatasi. And they go into the sanctuary. Wanaingia katika hekalu. It's empty wakati ambapo iko wazi they pray wanaanza kuomba and they find a chair to put that paper on na wanapata kiti cha kuweka hiyo karatasi and then when the people come to church alafu watu wanapokuja kanisa whatever chair they sit in kiti chochote kile watu watakalia they pick up that paper wanachukua hilo hiyo karatasi and they receive a prophecy from a child na wanapokea unabii kutoka kwa mtoto So see you can do that right now. Angalia hiyo unaweza kufanya hata sasa. You can be a leader right now. Unaweza kuwa kiongozi sasa hivi. You can lead your family. Unaweza kuongoza jamii yako kama mtoto. In the spirit realm when you Katika see them going ulimwengu wa kiroho. The wrong direction. When you see them going the wrong direction. Unapoona jamii yako ikienda katika njia mbaya. Away from God. Wakienda mbali na Mungu. You can say come mom and dad. Unaweza kuambia mami dadi baba mama. Let's pray. Jo karibu. Jo tuombe. Jo tuombe. My my children. Watoto wangu. When my husband and I. Wakati mmewaka na yeye. We would have a little spat. Wakati walipokuwa na mambo ambayo wanazungumziana vibaya. Mom dad. Watoto wanamwambia baba mama Dad, stop fighting baba wacha kupigana Jesus is watching you Yesu anakuangalia and it made us stop <laughs> na ile wafanya sasa wa, wa so you can make a difference now how better how you kwa hivyo haijalishi hata ukiwa mtoto unaweza kuleta mazuri kwa jamii yako 
Now this is you know you adults nyinyi watu wazima think you know how to pray Munafikiri munajua jinsi ya kuomba and you probably do na uenda ikawa unajua but i want you to listen to me a minute lakini nataka unisikilize vizuri this is a very important addition to your prayer hii ni nzuri sana kuongezea katika maombi yako do you ever wonder what god sounds like unajiuliza wakati mwingine mungu anasikika namna gani what would god sound like Mungu anaweza kusikika sauti ya Mungu inaweza kuwa namna gani? You ever heard God's voice? Ushasikia sauti ya Bwana Mungu? He's a big blaring voice. Yaani ana sauti kubwa. A little whisper. Ama kidogo ya ku eh kuispa kidogo. What does God sound like? Komonya. Mungu anasikikaje? What well, God sounds like what his attributes are. Mungu anasikika jinsi vile alivyo vile tunasema ni mzuri ni mpole ni mpendwa ni mwaminifu hivyo vyote and so in exodus katika exodus it says seven God, things God, inasema vitu saba god tells moses seven things that he is ambazo mungu musa, mungu anaambia musa yeye ni nani i'm going to tell you anaenda kukuambia god said i am compassionate mungu alimwambia mimi nina rehema i am merciful mimi ninaonea watu huruma. I am slow to anger. Mimi sikwa sikasiriki haraka. I am merciful. Mimi ninakuonea huruma na rehema. I am full of truth. Mimi ni mwenye ukweli. I forgive iniquity. Ninasamehe watu dhambi zao. And I am faithful. Na mimi ni mwaminifu. So if this is God's DNA. Bas, hiyo ndio sura ya Mungu. Then what does he sound like? Bas, anasikika namna gani? Sauti yake iliko namna gani? How many times do you pray? Ni mara ngapi unaomba? And then you get up and walk away. Alafu ukishaomba unaamka, unasonga mbele, unaenda safari zako. After you say amen. Baada ya kusema amina. When we do that, wakati tunapofanya hivyo, we're missing 50% of God's communication. Tunakosa 50% ya mawasiliano na Mungu. We say well God speaks to us when we read his word. Eh ndio tunasema Mungu anatuzungumzia tunaposoma neno lake. That's true. Ukweli. But lakini God did not. Mungu hakufanya hivyo. Write the book. Mungu hakuandika kitabu and then stop talking. Alafu akaacha kuzungumza. He's still talking today. Bado Mungu anaendelea kuzungumza. He's still saying things today. Anaendelea kuzungumza mambo sasa. And if we listen, na tunaposikiliza, we'll hear God's voice. Utasikia sauti yake. How do you know it's God? Utajuaje kwamba ni Mungu anazungumza? He always has good things to say. Ya, ana vitu vizuri kukuambia. He's compassionate. Yeye ni mwenye anapendeza, anapenda watu. Forgiving. Anasamehe watu. He's slow to anger. Yeye akasikiriki haraka. Is your mom ever said, "You just infuriate me." Mama huenda ikawa mama amekwambia wewe unanikasirisha. God never says that. Mungu asemi hivyo. He's slow to anger. Mungu anachukua wakati yani akasiriki haraka kabisa. He, he always has something good to say about you. Na siku zote wakati wote ana kitu kizuri cha kusema juu yako. What you've done wrong. Mimi sijali wewe umefanya kitu gani mbaya. He does not love you because of what you Hakupendi do. Hakupendi kwa sababu ya yale ambayo umefanya. He loves you because of who you are. Anakupenda kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto wake. You are wake. his child. Wewe ni mtoto wake. And you always will be. Na utaendelea kuwa hivyo. At one time, wakati mmoja, you sit and talk with your friend. You you sit down with the friend. Wakati mmoja ulikaa chini na rafiki yako. You have a conversation with them. Na mkaanza kuzungumza pamoja. In after the conversation, na baada ya kuzungumza, they open their mouth to talk. Wakafungua mdomo kuzungumza. And you walk away. Alafu wewe una unaenda unaenda zako. You would say, "Hey, come back." Alafu wewe utafanyaje? Utamwambia, "Ah, wait, wait for me to talk." Rudi tu, rudi tuzungumze. But this is what we do with God. Hivyo ndivyo tunavyofanya na Mungu. We pray, tunaomba, and then we walk away. Alafu tunasonga. And, and then How some of you have cell phones? Wengine wetu tuna hizi simu za mikononi. If your friend calls you on your cell phone, na sasa rafiki yako akikuita kwa hiyo simu. You say hello. Unasema hello. And they say hello. Na wao wanasema hello. Say, oh, hello John. Unasema hello John. How are you? Unaendeleaje? Na 
He didn't tell you he was John. Hakukwambia kwamba ni John. What did you do? Wewe ulifanyaje? You recognized him. Ulimtambua kwamba ni John. Ulitambua sauti yake. You knew his voice because you talked to him so much. Unajua sauti yake maana wewe unamzungumzia John mpaka unamjua. It's the same way with God. Hivyo ndivyo ilivyo na Mungu. If you talk to him so much. Kama unaongea na Mungu sana. And you listen. Na unamsikiliza. You will learn his voice. Utajua sauti yake. He says my sheep know my voice. Mungu mwenyewe anasema kondoo wangu wanajua sauti yake. not going to follow. Hawatafuata sauti ya mtu ambao hawamjui. So you don't have to worry. Kwa hivyo usianze kuogopa. And say, "Oh, I may be listening to the devil." Alafu useme, "Ah, pengine sasa hiyo inaweza kuwa sauti ya shetani." No, no, no. That's why people don't listen to God. Hapana, hapana. Hiyo ndiyo sababu watu hawasikiliki. Because the devil has put 